I think we're in focus. I think it's tracking my face. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I have a bit of a different camera setup. Uh, if you guys are interested in all, this is a Canon M50 mirrorless camera. And for fun fact, for the past year of having my channel and starting my channel, the only thing that I have used to film uh, any kind of video uh, is actually been with this GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. That's it. This is the only, well, okay, except I did one video with my phone and that was it. The whole channel has been based off just using GoPro. So if you want to get into doing these kinds of videos um, and you don't have, you're kind of on a budget, just pick up a GoPro. Like that's all you honestly realistically need to start out. First things first, I want to talk about uh, channel direction. I want to hear feedback from everyone. So put down in the comments. Do you want to see videos every single week? Uh, so one video every single week, back to back to back, or do you want to see a little bit more of a spaced out, um, maybe every other week, maybe every two weeks uh, I post a video. My reasoning or my explanation of why um, I'm asking everyone and I'm asking myself is do I want to spend more time on having better quality videos. I think if I went that direction, I would have more time to think about and plan out a video instead of like, like, oh no, like I haven't gone on a ride in two or three days or a whole week and I have nothing. Like I have to think of something um, to post um, for you guys to watch and it may not be the best content. So I think that's where my reasoning is like, should I do every other week? This will give me a lot more time to plan, um, plan the video, what the details of everything is gonna be, film the video, um, and obviously edit, because uh, editing does take um, a big chunk of the time to put these together. And I do actually wanna kinda cut some of these videos into shorter segments. So this video is not gonna be very long. Like viewership is usually like five or six minutes. And when my videos are 15 or 16 minutes long, um, a lot of the video doesn't get watched. Um, so I might, I might shrink the videos and just have it more, more thought out, more planned out instead of just having a 16 minute video. Yeah, enough rambling with channel direction, frequency of uploads, um, enough with that. Let's move on to the second thing that I have written down in my handy dandy notebook that I need to, any video I have, I'm writing down in here, any ideas, any notes, so. It just keeps me more, more well organized. Um, so the second thing we want to talk about is trail systems, uh, new trail systems to myself. And there's a couple on here that are just brand new in general to everyone. Starting out Copper Harbor, that's my number one place I wanna go and visit and just see what the whole hype is about. Um, it's not a new it's not a new thing to for people to be talking about copper harbor definitely want to get out there do some of the shuttles that they have um stay for a couple nights do some camping and just ride as many trails as i can so copper harbor that's number one on my list uh for number two split rock wilds uh this is a trail or i think there's four to five different trails um in the system and they're built by rock solid trail con contracting. I always want to say construction, but I think it's contracting. Correct me if I'm wrong, but rock solid um, built these trails and these are brand new uh, for this year. Really, really excited for these uh, for these trails just based off of photos. And I will put links um, to all these different trail systems. So Copper Harbor, Split Rock and the other three that I'm going to talk about. Um, so you can go and check out and see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, Copper Harbor number one, Split Rock Wilds in Two Harbors, Minnesota. Really, really excited. It looks really awesome. Some really cool views. Um, it looks pretty gnarly. Um, for number three, I have Giants Ridge. I know I did a video uh, at Giants Ridge this winter, winter downhill fat biking. Another really fun video to do. Um, it was a blast. And uh, I can't wait to go out in the summertime because summer trails out there, Look, look freaking sweet. Um, number four, Redhead. 
it's another kind of a uh, kind of iron range. It's kind of like uh, Kiyuna. Um, haven't been out to Redhead. It gets a ton of praise of being some of the most scenic views in Minnesota for mountain biking and you know hiking and things like that. Um, really excited for that trail to go out there. And then last but not least, the Jackpot Trail in Lutzen. Another trail uh, new to me, um, not new to a lot of people uh, here in uh, Minnesota. Lots of miles to be put on um, and I've heard nothing but great things um, from the Jackpot Trail. So yeah, those are five trail systems that uh, they're on my list and they're definitely a priority to, to go out there, just have a blast, go film them, go ride them and share with you guys so you guys can get stoked on these uh, on these places so that's it that's all i have i can't think of anything else um that's relevant right now minnesota is um approaching spring we have been we've had a pretty good streak we've had 40 to 50 degree weather um today right now it's like maybe 55 but it's super windy so it doesn't feel that warm but yeah, we're, we're in mud season. The snow has started to melt. Riding season isn't gonna start probably till, if at best, if we get really lucky, end of April. Um, but typically it's early May that we can start riding some of the trails, things like that. Um, but yeah, I don't expect much trail riding from me uh, in the next coming weeks. Um, we just gotta wait for everything to dry up and uh, just cross your fingers for really good weather. So that can start as soon as possible. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead, hit the like button. If you guys wanna see more content, more things like this, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next trail.